You the barrack officer? Absolutely. Wing Commander Temple Smithson. And there's no need to introduce yourself, Captain Stone. We've heard all about the show you put on at the holding camp. Gather you lost a chap. Rotten luck. Luck? I had the chance to stop him and I didn't. Best not to blame yourself, old fellow. Jerry's the one to point the finger at. And you're bound to get a chance to hit back at him. You can count on it. I don't plan on making this a long stay. Ah, indeed. Good show. Now, you're quartered in barrack two. The chaps there should make you welcome. That'll be all. Actually, Stone, why don't you come and see me once you're settled in? We might be able to help each other out. Sir, Henry Earl Plunkett's the name, sir. I don't like this Europe one bit, sir. They sure do things a whole lot different to back home in Kansas. My cousin Jim Bob said they go hunting on horses, but I can't even find me a rifle. Can you help me? Sir, me and my friends have orders to help you out, sir, but the boys decided we shouldn't do it till y'all give us 25 currency. Sorry, sir. Okay, here's the currency you want. Now, math ain't my strong point, sir, but that sure don't look right. You better find some more currency. Harry Fox is the name, sir. Get my hands on pretty much anything I can. For a price, of course. Can't reveal my sources, though. Trade secret. Anything I can do for you? No, thanks. Well, you just come and find me if you change your mind, sir. Private Olivier Vermas, sir. Belgian Army. Uh, or I was until we were overrun by the Germans. <laughs> it is truly an honour to meet you, sir. They say you came very close to making it home. And I must, of course, offer my condolences for the loss of your comrade. I could use a little help. Captain, I would be honored to assist you in avoiding the guards, and my two friends also. However, although I pleaded with them, they insist upon a small goodwill payment of 25 currency. These are difficult times, you understand? I'll speak to you later. Flight Lieutenant Jonathan Fielding reporting for duty, sir. I'm just itching to paint a few more 109s on the side of my crate, so the sooner we all go under the wire, the better, wouldn't you say? You mind lending me a hand? Now, I'm keen to help you out, old man, but I'm a bit embarrassed on the old cash front, if you know what I mean. So why don't we say 25 currency and the other two chaps and I'll lend a hand? I'll speak to you later. I'm Nesbitt, sir. Everyone here's got orders from the wing commander to help you out as best we can. I try to keep an ear to the ground, so I might be able to fill you in on the camp gossip, if you know what I mean. I plan on getting out of here. Any suggestions? The escape committee are your best bet, sir. You'll find them in barrack four during afternoon free time or after lights out. Always working on some scheme they are. And good luck to them. What do you make of the other prisoners? Well, Colonel Harding's an interesting one. I think he was on some kind of important mission when he was captured. He seems a little snappy anyhow. A mission? What kind of mission? I overheard them talking to the EC about some schematics or something. That's all I know, at the moment. I'll speak to you later. Hey, Captain. Good to meet you. Sorry to hear about your buddy. My name's McCormick. I've got to know the guards here pretty well, so if you need any tips on giving them the slip, I'm the guy to ask. I need to bust out of here, McCormick. Any ideas? You'd best talk to the EC about that, sir. They coordinate all escape efforts. Actually... I heard they were looking for you. You said you had some tips on avoiding the guards. The Krauts aren't as sharp as they'd like to think. I like throwing stones to distract them. Drives them crazy. How come everyone here looks so damn miserable? Give it a few weeks and you'll be the same, sir. Stalag Luft does that to a guy. The folks here sure could use some cheering up. I'll speak to you later.
Bienvenue à Stalagluft, capitaine. Private Duchamp at your service. The rumor is that you intend to escape. <laughs> well, I know this camp better than the commandant himself, and I think you would do better to get used to it. Hey, Duchamp, you want to help me get out of here? I could perhaps guide you towards some helpful equipment, Capitain. However, the escape committee has the people you should probably talk to. They supposedly organize all escapes from the camp. <laughs> Not that I have seen much evidence of their success. I could use some more currency. You know where to look? Could not we all, monsieur? The construction area adjacent to our compound can be a good source of contraband. I'll speak to you later. Hey, Captain, how you doing? The name's Mickey Malone, fastest hand in New York. If you need to make a quick buck, <laughs> and you're feeling lucky, I'm your man. That's good to know. Gotta take your chances on a game of dice? Only five currency to play. I'll give it a go. Are you kidding? It costs five currency to play. And you ain't got nearly enough here. Good day to you, sir. I'm Charlie. Look, if the camp's getting you down and you need a laugh, then I'm your man. I organise regular challenges for the lads in the camp, so let me know if you're up for a bit of fun. Oh, yeah? What kind of challenges? Well, sir, there ain't much by way of entertainment here in Stalagluft, but there's no shortage of stones lying around. So, I run a little stone-throwing game during morning exercise and afternoon free time. There's currency to be won and all, sir. Care for a little practice, sir? No charge. With a name like yours, you should find it a piece of cake. I'll give it a go. And the best of luck to you, sir. See, sir? Easy. Next time I reckon we'll have a little wager. I don't have time for idle chat. Go and bother someone else, there's a good fellow. Captain Stone, is it not? The wing commander pointed you out to me. He asks that you join us in the barracks. Perhaps now? Sure. Good a time as any. Ah, good of you to drop in, Captain. Perhaps you've met Major Nikolai Radko of the Polish Army. The Major heads up our escape committee. Captain Stone might make a valuable addition to the team, wouldn't you say, Major? I wish I could share your faith in human nature, sir. But experience has taught me to make new friends with caution. Welcoming as ever, eh, Radka? Then how about setting stone a little test? Just like being back in high school. Very well. Captain, we will have a tape placed in your hiding place in Barrack 2. You are tasked with taking it to the administration building and playing it over the camp's address system. Just a little wheeze to lift the chap's spirits and get one over on Jerry to boot. That's all? Then I'm in. Should you experience difficulties, you are free to consult us at any time. If the wing commander has judged you correctly, that should not be necessary. Dismissed.
Good morning, gentlemen. It appears you are all present and correct. Dismissed. Apologies, Herr Commandant. It must have been one of the prisoners. I don't want your excuses, Oberjäger. I want that noise stopped now. And if a prisoner was responsible, I want that prisoner found and halt. Going somewhere, Colonel? I thought you looked like trouble. Oberjäger, lock this man up. Get back to the escape committee for a pat on the back. 